Today we're listening to famous songs from the reverse perspective. Let's do it. Driver's license from the dude behind her's perspective. Did she just get her driver's license? Cause I've been stuck behind her car, driving three miles an hour, staring at the same front yard. She could just pull over. Seriously, it's not that hard. That is so funny. We've all been in this situation, stuck behind some learner. I never had to learn to drive the car, okay? I had a driver's license coming out of the womb. So just losers who have to learn how to drive or get a driver's license. Either you're born with it or you shouldn't drive a car. This is so well done though. Out of the suburbs, I'm about to snuff. <laughs> I love the coffee. I have to be at work in 20 minutes or my boss will give me. <laughs> oh god, now she's crying. I wish she'd start driving. Oh, if I have to pee. <laughs> this is taking forever. Some people got places to be. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that is so good. This is Jax Wright's songs, by the way, on TikTok. What a freaking champion. Chandelier from the housekeeper's point of view. Oh my god, see you get down from the chandelier. It weighs 20 pounds. It's really old. Super dangerous. <laughs> it costs 300, 300 grand. I don't have 300 grand. Do you have 300 grand? I do think Sia has 300 grand. Let's check just to be sure. Sia net worth 30 million dollars. I'll let her swing from my chandeliers any day. <laughs> gifted for this i gotta say i just her like puzzled like shocked reaction in her face throughout i don't really know what she's doing with her outfit here though is this supposed to look like a housekeeper let me know in the comments if you get what this uh, outfit is to be honest i wasn't expecting too much from this i felt like this would be like a concept where it's like yeah i'm the dude and stuff but these are like solid jokes by the way welcome back to another daily video my name is joe from Rooney official and here's a meme from the subreddit doc i feel like i'm getting old hmm tell me did you recognize the memes in Rumi's meme melody video yes about 10 of them. Patient is basically dead. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't mean that I have bad jokes or anything. All of the jokes, if you don't understand young humor, because I am very young. <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. Let's continue. Stacy's mom from Stacy's mom's perspective. Stacy, why is your boyfriend being super weird? <laughs> Agree. That is a creepy song. I don't know why it's almost like socially acceptable to crush on your friend's moms. Not that I ever did it or anything. Never been attracted to my friend's mom. Come on, moms are hot. We all know it's true. He's been on a lawn since your father disappeared, disappeared. He asked me 13 times about your dad's affair. <laughs> dad's affair. Plus, I think he's been stealing my underwear. What if that's not actually what happened? What if you're just really bad with placing your underwear? Don't put your underwear in the trash. Then it does disappear. Oh, there's a second part to this one. Stacy's mom. How long does it take to mow a lawn? <laughs> Stacy, honey, you notice that you're still at school. You're still at school. And your boyfriend's here in our pool. Hey, that's a swear word. So I walked outside with just a towel on. It sounds like she did that because he was in the pool. Now I'm starting to feel like she is complicit. That is creepy behavior, mommy. Cause since you aren't here, I assume they be gone. Assume they be gone. It's basically a stalker. I just realized. That's so weird. By the way, a lot of you guys asked us to put Worth It from this video on Spotify, etc. I uploaded it yesterday. It might be up on Spotify and stuff now. I don't know. Depends how fast they are. We'll link it in the description. Otherwise, you know it will be there. So go follow me on Spotify or wherever you like to listen to music. Thanks. From Romeo's point of view. Juliet on a 
Honestly, your dad seems like he's pretty I like you, but it's not really worth the risk Realistic. This is what would happen if a dad was that like, oh, don't date my daughter. He found out we were trying to hit the road. He came to my house and grabbed me <laughs> by the throat and said, stay away from Juliet, boy. <laughs> Oh, her acting takes us to the next level. She's a really good actress, too. Where is she based? I would love to, uh, like, film something with her. Oh, she was on American Idol? She was placed in the third position on American Idol season 14. She signed a record deal with Atlantic Records in January 2021. Maybe it will be hard to collab with her now. I'm upset. Bohemian Rhapsody from Mama's perspective. Oh, God. <laughs> the outfit. My son. Just kill the man. Just <laughs> that kid is such a schmuck. Where did he even get a gun? Nah. Said goodbye to his future, his job at Taco Bell. And then he has the balls to ask me for help. Bad mom. Can't just give up on your son like that. I mean, I guess you become a person who maybe kills someone if you got bad parents. I'm a big believer that anyone can become anything in the right, or in this case, wrong circumstance, but dang. Ask your father. Nah. That was just very dark. This is the first one where it's like, that wasn't really funny. It was just very dark. Lonely from Hailey Bieber's point of view. Are you kidding me? Agreed. I just rubbed your feet and made you macaroni. <laughs> I've been standing here for over a year. One less girl is lonely. That's a Bieber song reference. One less lonely girl. Yeah, I'm a bit of a believer. I may or may not have the Bieber fever. Remember when that was the worst pandemic we had to worry about? I wish you knows me. Your wife. Knows me. They are married, right? Yeah, yeah. They got married in 2018. So, yeah. I wish you'd notice your wife, which is me. Someone like you from Adele's ex's perspective. Adele, what are you doing here? What a nice surprise. I haven't seen you in years. I can't believe you showed up out of the blue uninvited, but... Come on in, my kids will be super excited. I tell everyone I know we used to be together, but my wife never believed ah. me. Ah. Honey, come downstairs. Guess who's outside? It's my ex girlfriend, Adele. She came by to say hi. One thing I really love about this that I really respect is that she's obviously a great singer. However, she chooses acting over sounding great. And that's what makes these work so well. It's funnier that it's got a little bit of flaws and some like overacting things in the singing. I love it. This is some of the best music content I've seen in the last few years, honestly, when it comes to like novelty music content online. I wonder how long it takes to make one of these. Updates from Avril Lavigne and Skater Boy 18 years later. I'm Skater Boy. I'm Avril Lavigne. <laughs> 18 years later, can you believe? I love how she straightened her hair and did her makeup. Oh, and the Warped Taurus t-shirt. <laughs> you gotta respect the outfits. We're getting divorced. I cheated once when I went on ah. tour. You're still a skater boy. So what if I'm unemployed? You literally slept until three. Punk rock is still alive. Okay, but you're 35. Well, you're not as hot as you used to be. God. That also got like too dark for me. I want to laugh at it. It's clever. It is funny, but it's just so sad. Here's Wrecking Ball from the Wrecking Ball's perspective. Smiley sitting on my face. This is probably my favorite day. Maybe I could be her ball. Ah, today. that's funny. Mr. Wrecking Ball and my eye. Ha ha ha!
Oh, she is hilarious. She has made me laugh out loud more than like so many compilations of just hundreds of different videos. Every video is just from Nickelback's perspective. Everyone decided Nickelback was lame. We had to cut our hair and change our names. And none of us even really understand how we became the world's most hated band. Everybody got a laugh at a photograph. Well, if you ask me, I think the song still slaps. Agree. We became a meme and it really hurt. We were never the best, but we were never the worst. And Agree. This is just a good point. Hey, hey, let's bring Nickelback back. Mom, stop. I'm filming something. <laughs> Mom, stop. So Nickelback lives at home with mom. That's funny. Good point and funny little joke in the end. Rude from the dad's perspective. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So my daughter's been dating this moronic punk. She met him on the Tinder. <laughs> the Tinder. They've been together for less than two months. So there's time to reconsider. Saturday morning he comes to my house in one of those tuxedo t-shirts he said dude I'm proposing without a doubt <laughs> I just wanted to let you know first I said why you gotta call me dude don't you think that's kind of rude my daughter's too good for you he said I married her yesterday <laughs> Uh, that's good. She dresses up like and tries to dress up as a dude. It's impossible for me to see. She always looks like, you know, an attractive woman, no matter what she's wearing, which I guess is a compliment for her. So year 3000 from the great, great, great granddaughter's perspective. So there's two versions of year 3000. There's the busted version by the band Busted, where they say that the great, great, great granddaughter is fine, as in hot. And then you have... In Jonas Brothers cover, they sang that the great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine because they didn't want to be edgy in any way possible. And Busted, who wrote this song, were an edgy band, kind of. So yeah, I wonder which one this is based on. Probably the Busted version, I feel like. One day, when I came home in my hovercraft, I heard a little knock. Turns out it's the Joe Bros or some band, eh. but I don't listen to classic rock. Their names were Nick, Joe, and <laughs> they said we came to the year 3000. Everyone always forgets about the third Jonas Brothers member. It's Nick, Joe, and uh, Kevin. I'm sure he's a very talented musician. I have no idea whatsoever. How do you not know the <laughs> Jonas Brothers? <laughs> you know your great, great, great grandmother was our biggest fan. <laughs> Your great, great, great grandmother. She wanted to do naughty stuff with me. And you don't even care about me? Come on. You are the same bloodline. You are obligated to like me. Okay, that was probably based on the Jonas Brothers version then because you could have done a way edgier joke with that they thought that she was fine. Somebody that I used to know from their dog's perspective. Remember when you guys would cuddle me? Now you're fighting over custody. <laughs> This is rough, man. I hate it when mom and dad fight. The writing's so good. Now that you guys are breaking up, I've been playing dead a lot, hoping you both would notice. Guess I'll throw myself what? a bone. Now I'm just a good boy that you used <laughs> to know. That is hilarious. If this would have been the first one I saw, maybe these dog puns would not necessarily have done it for me. But since I am in a really good mood and she's been just slaying with every TikTok, I found this very funny as well. Girls just want to have fun from the mom's perspective. Hmm, interesting. So my daughter comes home at 2 a.m. drunk in our kitchen, eating pizza rolls, smelling like skunk. She said, Mom, relax. Girls just want to have fun. I said, oh, girls want to have fun. Rent is $2,341 plus utilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little acting thing in the end, so good. I actually thought about this because to be honest, I have also been that kid coming home late, smelling interesting from adult beverages or whatever. And uh, it's gotta suck. It's almost a rite of passage, I guess, that your kids are gonna get into that sort of thing eventually and partying at some part of their lives and hiding it from their parents, whatever, while you're still living at home. But you gotta worry when they're out on a Saturday night. And I really am getting old. I'm thinking like a parent. What's happening? Jesse's girl from Jesse's girl's perspective. So Jesse has this friend who doesn't blink when he's looking at me. And I don't want to 
be like Jesse. Your roommate's a creep, but I swear I can hear him breathing in the closet Just standing there. while he's asleep, and he's watching me with those eyes. And every time I spit my gum out, he collects it from the trash. Now I'm scared. How does nobody realize there's something wrong with Jesse's friend? Keep an eye on Jesse's friend. <laughs> Though this one was probably one of the weaker punchlines for me. I think she's really got it down with a really fast little extra joke at the very end. Just expert content creation. She is super multi-talented. Hotel California from the Yelp reviewer's perspective. Okay. We are on a dark desert highway when our car broke down. So we decided we would spend the night at the one hotel in town. I asked the front desk when to check out. He said... What's the original thing of Hotel California again? Is it that you can't leave? Yeah, you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Oh, it's about addiction. I thought it was actually about a hotel. I don't know why. Or like a metaphor for just life or something. Just realizing how dumb I am. Party in the USA from the Uber driver's point of view. Picking up this girl at LAX and I pull up to gate B. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hi, are you Hannah from Montana? Ah. She's like, you recognize me. <laughs> No, I'm the Uber you requested. We're kind of holding up airport traffic. She grabs the aux cord from me and says, can we listen to Jay-Z? She starts freaking out cause she forgot to pack stilettos. Then she stuck her head out the window. I'm like, ma'am, that's dangerous. Put your head back in the car. Put your head back in the car. She's like, I'm gonna be a star. So I'm like, get out. <laughs> so I'm like, get out. I respected how she left in the little bit pitchy singing there, but it's so obvious she's a great singer. She looks so perfect by five seconds of summer from the girlfriend's point of view. You look so perfect standing there in my Victoria's Secret <laughs> underwear. So they did a switch. Gross. Or is it? I guess it's not gross. To me, I would not want to see that. I don't want to see your boyfriend in Victoria's Secret underwear. Cross-dressing is okay. Let's all be clear about that. To wear each other's underwear. I think it's pretty progressive. You don't care. Babe, stop. You look great. <laughs> you look great. He was there. He was actually wearing female underwear. Very cool. Okay, guys, click here for more music commentary videos. Click here for music VS videos. Go check out Jack's Right songs. What a freaking talent. Here is a meme from the subreddit. Some advice from the master. Don't forget to stretch. I don't know why I do this. I guess it's... Oh, that feels good, actually. I guess it is a stretch. Or maybe I just like to flex my huge biceps. Check it out. It's growing right now. I'm taking supplements. See you tomorrow. Bye.